Hey everyone, today I want to show you a problem. I hope you can figure it out in private. Now I don't know if you can hear that entirely, but the problem is it is revving insanely high. So this is going to be how to adjust a governor on a Briggs and Stratton that more or less like this style of engine. So let's get started. First things first is you have to take out these little screws. There's two of them on the top. That's going to allow us to gain access to the top without any obstruction. Um, first things first is we want to see if our governor is stuck. And right now it's not. It moves. That's good to go. Now this is your culprit right here. Um, basically, I already have a video on how to set the internal Briggs and Stratton governor. If you need to refresh that and watch that, feel free to do so. It's on a vertical shaft engine, but it's literally the exact same way. Just imagine it on a different axis. Moving forward. So if we need to lower the RPM, this needs to put less tension on. So what we need to do is this. We need to bend it in like so. Only takes a little bit. Now, if we had the exact opposite problem, if it's too low, in fact, we might have adjusted too low, then we will want to bend it out in general. It's either very close to um, vertical, like straight up and down, or it could be angled a little bit inside. Very rarely will you see it on the outside. And if you do see it on the outside, I'd recommend changing it before even starting it. That way you don't ruin any type of damage. So here's the thing about this. If you purposely over rev your engine, this engine's designed to run at 3,600 RPMs consistently. That's what it's meant to do. That's the ideal speed it's meant to run at. That's the speed it should run at. The reason why is there is a governor inside there that spins. And inside that spinning governor are weights. It's perfectly capable to stay intact at its desired RPM range or lower. But if it gets too fast, it could very well implode, <coughs> causing bits and pieces of plastic and metal and springs and washers and all kinds of things you don't want running around inside your engine to fly everywhere. That can go into a variety of bad places you don't want it to go and cause serious harm. So don't over rev your engine. If you don't know exactly what speed it is, just set it like this and let it go. Um, I'm going to play it, so I'm hoping you can hear the sound, but technically you should get an RPM meter or a gauge and some of them connect to the spark plug. Some of them you have to open up the little flap on the side of your mower and put like a reflective piece of tape um, and do that. All that's subjective, but you can tell if it's too fast. If it's running at 37, you're probably not going to be a problem. If it's running at 34 or 33, you're just going to have a little bit less power, but that's it. I'd rather have less power than a broken engine. So let's give it a try. Now that it's set, I'm going to put this loosely on top because we might have to adjust it again. But eh, let's prime it. See if we hear the same thing. So that was obviously too slow. Like I said, you'd be surprised, like a sixteenth of an inch will increase and decrease your engine speed substantially. So right now I'm just going to put maybe another sixteenth of an inch of a bend on there. Let's try it again. And try no choke, or excuse me, no priming. But that needs to be done. Come on. Okay.
I think we actually might be flooded. You know what, to me, that sounds like we're pretty good. I think we're going to increase it just a little bit. Just a tad. I get 30 second of an inch. There we go. And this time, I have a mic on. I'm going to put a handle, or excuse me, something to attach to keep the engine running so I can get closer so you can hear it. So it's spitting back and forth a little bit because it needs to be tuned a little bit better. But the engine speed is good to go. So we're now set on that one. Hopefully you heard that. So um, you already know what's going to happen if you have a high RPM. If you have a too low of RPM, it can be really hard to start. Uh, so if you're having a really hard time and you notice it just sounds a little low, adjust this. It should be a, a lot easier. Okay, so quick little video on how to do so. If you haven't seen the other one, how to adjust the mechanical governor, then watch that one. That would be a, a great benefit. The, you generally don't have to do this, but at times, if you had recent work done, um, if it's really, really old, sometimes you have to do that, or sometimes the springs get worn out, and you just have to put a little bit more of an adjustment as they start to lose their spring tension. But other than that, should be good to go. This helped you out leave a comment put a thumbs up if you liked it keep on watching subscribe i will be releasing more of these and have a good evening